All right, we are here with actual smart summons. Um, I'm at a local school in the neighborhood and we've got the Tesla that's parked right now in front of the school. And uh, we're gonna test this out. Uh, I did an, an attempt earlier and it was telling me that the, I guess the vehicle thought it was on a public road, which it wasn't because we're in uh, a private school here, uh, but we'll give it a shot again. So we've got the app opened, we're in park. We're gonna go to the summons menu. Um, we can certainly see here that we're not on a uh, public road. Um, we can see the circle here, the blue circle, which is our uh, allowance window of when we can, where we can use, how far away we can use the uh, smart summons feature. And you can see it extends out pretty far. So the goal here is uh, we want to be able to back out of the current parking spot and go around the loop here. And it should come, the vehicle should come to pick me up in the front of the school. And this is a perfect use case because we can see it's raining here. Um, so this is exactly when you would use this feature. Um, so the blue dot is me, the red arrow is the vehicle. Um, it, it's actually not parked in the grass. There's a, there's a new parking lot that's been put here that's not showing up with the satellite imagery yet. Um, but we can also see the camera views from the car. Um, so those are all pulled up for our convenience to keep an eye on what the car is doing and its surroundings. Um, and then it says, press and hold controls to move the vehicle. So I'm gonna say, go to target. I'll have to push and hold this. Um, and here we go. All right, so the car is backing up. The windshield wipers are on. You could probably see me off in, this, in the distance here. All right, so vehicle's moving forward. Needs to find its way out of this new parking lot it needs to make a left here coming out of the parking lot to come and get me all right it's just uh kind of abruptly stopped i don't know why oh it says cannot use on public roads so it still thinks that that it's uh i'm trying to get it to come out to a public road which i'm not all right so we've made it to uh, a different location here i'm out actually at a uh, lake house uh, in our community and we're going to try this again because Earlier we were at a school, which is a private school. It was not a public road, um, but it was still registering in the app that it was a public road. Um, so let's try this again. So we got the app open. We'll go to summons. Um, we can see here that uh, we're connecting to the car. We are within range. There's our cameras that are pulled up. Uh, the blue circle indicates that we're in range to use actual smart summons. It is raining out here. Perfect use case. So let's have the car come and get us. All right. So the car is backing itself up now. Um, I do have a clear line of sight of the vehicle. Um, and we can also see through the rear camera here that there's no one behind us. And now it's switched to the front camera. And the car is making its way around the loop here uh, to come and pick me up because I'm standing in the rain. So perfect use case here. It's performing well. It's going at a good speed. Windshield wipers are on, headlights are on. You can see me here under the tree trying to take cover. And it should stop here. And it didn't, it's still going. So it completely bypassed me here. Not sure what it's doing, but We'll let it go to see what happens. It's just, it's passed right by me, so I'm not sure why it didn't stop. It's like it's having, per the GPS, it's like it's having a tough time trying to find me and locate me. So the blue dot appears to be a lot further away than what it actually is. Um, so there's a vehicle backing out of the parking space. It's gonna have to wait for this car. Um, all right, that car is gone. So it should just keep coming straight towards me. I'm literally standing right here, you can see me. And uh, the vehicle should stop. Um, GPS is showing that I'm nearby and the car just rolls right by. So I'm gonna stop it here. And that was an abrupt stop. Actually slammed on the brakes there. Uh, but that was the first test. Not so great, it, the vehicle did not stop to pick me up. All right, we're at our next location, uh, which is a Publix uh, shopping plaza. And we've got the Tesla that's parked um, on the far end of the parking lot. 
and Joan and I are standing under the cover, and the car should come in, come and pick us up, because we don't want to walk in the rain. So there's a bird's eye view where we are. We are. We're just on the outer perimeter of the blue ring here, underneath the cover. You can see the blue GPS dot. Um, there's our cameras, and uh, let's give it a shot. Cameras may be blocked. Yeah, they're going to have to do a better job with this. Especially in uh, rainy conditions, of course, the cameras, the lenses are going to have some rain on them. I'll try again. Cameras may be blocked. Yeah, this isn't great. All right, so on that third attempt, the, the vehicle's starting to move. It's backing out of the parking space. All right. Now it's in drive. It's the Gonna have to loop around. Mm -hmm. Alright, it's slowly making its way around. Alright, we've got a visual. It's coming around the corner. Oh, Very good, good. Yeah, there it is. Good distance from the uh, curb there. And it's uh, slowly making its way forward and you can see us dead ahead wave to the car Jonah there we go you can see us there it's uh, in the center of the uh, lane there um, which is great well I should say in the center of the passage and that's fine because it's a one-way it's got its blinker on and it should make the turn and stop right in front of us here of course once it completes its stop which it does there we go, it's making its turn. And it pulls right up and comes to a stop. So a very good performance there, except for the beginning where uh, it didn't want to back out because the cameras were blocked because of the rain.